This video is for James Rashke, who asked about tying a speaker up to the ceiling. And I normally don't put myself in my videos, but I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for helping me hit 100,000 subscribers. Now, it took me about 10 years to do it. Hopefully the next 100K doesn't take as long, but I just wanted to say thank you for supporting me, for all the likes, subscribes, comments, video ideas, visits to my shop. They've all made a difference. Now, when I get my play button, I'll do a better video, a better explanation. But until then, let's do like we normally do and get straight to the point. This will be easier to see later on if I show you on a cell phone first. We're gonna use Micro 90. Micro 90 is like a little baby paracord. As you can see, it only has a single inner strand. I'll take a fathom of this cord, which is the distance between my outstretched hands, and I'll start working with that length. From here, I'll take my two ends, I'll line them up so that I can find my center point on my section of cord. Now I'll take this bite, and I will pinch in a lark's head. I just put my fingers through, go around and pinch. I have two loops now, and there is my lark's head. I'll take my right strand, and I'm simply gonna thread it through these two loops. And since this is a symmetrical knot, I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the left strand. There we go. And now I'll just pull this tight so that my lark's head pinches down on my strands. All right, if all's gone well, you should have your two strands up top, your two loops on the sides, and now we're ready to place in our cell phone. To type my phone, I'll place the lark's head at the bottom edge. I'll take my right loop and I'll hook it on the back corner there. I'll bring it across the front and I'll tighten it up just a little bit. Here we go. I'll do the same thing with the other loop, hook it on the back corner bring it across the front, and then I'll tighten it up just a little bit. Now we have these X's going around the edge of the phone. I want them to be centered on the sides and then centered from top to bottom as well. As I'm pulling in my tension, I want to do equal pulls from either side, and I'll also center this knot as well. All right, there you have it. This is going to be very secure. You can pull it out of your pocket, take your photo, put it away without worrying about dropping it or it accidentally falling out. Now, if you have three cameras in the back, you may have to adjust this strand just off to the side as you take your photo, but it still works. Now that you've got the idea here, we're gonna translate that same concept over to our speaker. Here I have it shown with 250 paracord. You can see our Lark's head right up here. We take our strands and we pull everything tight and all the corners are gathered up by our harness here. For the speaker, I'm gonna use three fathoms of this patriotic themed rope. Let's get to the midpoint. We'll put in our Lark's head. I'll take my right side, thread it through. Left side, thread it through, and then pull my Lark's head tight. All right. Okay, for our speaker, I'll take my Lark's head, place it right on top. There's my end that I'm gonna pull. Here's my loop. I'll hook it onto this corner. I'll go across the front of the speaker and hook it on this back corner. There we go. Same thing with my other loop. Hook it on that corner, go across and hook it on. Okay. And now I'll pull in all my tension. We'll get this adjusted along the way. So here it is. I got my tension pulled in. I got my speaker so that I can suspend it from the ceiling. When it comes to anchoring this to the ceiling, I would just cross your ropes up top. I'd find a screw that's long enough along with the washer so that you can anchor it into a stud and just drive it through both ropes. After you trim these down, you just want to make sure you have enough rope left so that it doesn't unravel releasing the screw.